Hello, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. This is Tony Fergie. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you to my subscribers. Thank y'all. Y'all done made me made it up to 500 and above. Let's get up to about a thousand or more. Now, y'all, I'm sharing this video because I want to know what y'all think. Is China good for Jamaica? Let's see. Let's watch and talk about it. Site, and you might wonder, what's with all the Chinese workers? These boots on the ground, part of China's foray into the Caribbean. Bringing with it Chinese loans, but also friction. These are the beginnings of a much needed children's hospital, a gift from China, but one with strings attached. It's their contractor, up to 50% their workers, leaving many in the local industry cut out. At sites across Jamaica, it's often like that, except it's usually alone, a big one. So they're doing a number of buildings looking very similar to that one. And that has engineer Carville Stewart speaking out. You're saying China essentially loaned money to itself to do work in well, another country? Well, well, that's what it did, because it, it lends you the money, and on the bottom of it, it says the beneficiary is China Harbor Engineering Company. The people who build the roads the and do the projects. The people build the road and do the project. While the infrastructure is needed, the added debt, he says, is not, especially if China's investment doesn't improve the economy in the long run. We will be seeking funds to repay those loans later on without having had the opportunity for the economy to earn from those funds. To understand who wins and who loses, we're hitting the road. Jamaica borrowed $700 million to have a Chinese state-owned firm build this toll highway. A thousand Chinese were imported to do the work alongside Jamaicans. It's also the first pillar we see of China's strategic plan, an outlet for their labor. And it's hard for Jamaica to say no to China. A country full of dilapidated roads and a government too broke to fix them all. So locals hustle to collect money to pay for cement and do the work themselves. Important to, do it. to put it in perspective, we're heading to meet one of Jamaica's most senior statesmen. Hi, Ambassador. Morning. How are you? Very good. Thank Pleasure. you very much. Very good to meet you. We'll get you right Richard here. Bernal was Jamaica's ambassador to Washington, now Thanks runs so a global for, uh, center at its main university. I know there are cases in other developing countries where they bring in a lot of their own workers. But in this case, the numbers are relatively small and they have been reducing over time. He dismisses concerns over who's doing the work when you consider what Jamaica is getting with the loans. One, the terms are quite generous, long repayment periods, low interest. Secondly, the Chinese are very competitive in carrying out these construction projects. And thirdly, what you find is that it comes with less conditionality than Western aid. But in return for its money, China is looking for influence and opportunity. And that is all about location. So this is Little Goat Island? Yes, it is. Goat Island sits directly north of the strategically critical Panama Canal. Yes. And this is where the Jamaican government agreed to allow the Chinese to build a huge port. This is where they want to build a port. But when Ingrid Parchment heard about it, she knew it had to be stopped. I thought, why are we giving away one of our major resources to somebody because they have an idea? Why aren't we protecting for us what we need? She leads a group responsible for coastal conservation. What was it that concerned you in particular? I think the idea that they were going to be leveling the island, removing all of the trees, which is habitat for birds, and also the mangroves in particular, which are where the baby fish and crabs grow. But also I've been doing a lot of dredging. And the dredging would mean that all of the seagrass, all of that lovely starfish you saw coming, etc., all of that would be lost as well. But not everyone had a problem. I think there are mixed responses. Persons thought there's an opportunity for employment. Others thought maybe they would be using their boats to carry material back and forth. Jamaica struggles with that mix, and few places better illustrate that than here, the Alpart Mine. Another pillar for China is access to the Caribbean's resources. 
This mine lay dormant for years, but China needs aluminum, and the bauxite they process here is a key ingredient. When Chinese conglomerate JISCO bought it, they got that access, and the community got jobs. Do you know anybody who worked at the mine? My aunt is a chef. We depend on the mine. That's what we depend on. We don't have no other else source inside the plant. But the mine's reopening also brought problems. Last month, it shut down for an upgrade, pushing many back out to unemployment. But not before Jamaica's environmental regulator issued 16 enforcement orders against JISCO. The source of the problem? This vast residue disposal area. It was blamed for causing serious environmental and human health issues in the neighboring community. Actually, a mile from the mud lake, and it's really disturbing me. Are you worried for the kids like this? Of course, 100% worried. When the dust blow, um, it sometimes it's rush up our skin and all of that. These are legitimate concerns, but they aren't new ones, says Ambassador Bernal. I'm not saying they haven't broken some laws, but guess what? The residue from bauxite plants have been here since they were established 50 years ago by Canadians and American firms. So if Jamaicans are concerned, he argues, they should take it up with their own government. Which is what Ingrid's group did. They pushed back against the government and won. Plans for the port on Goat Island? Cancelled. One of the things we were fearful of is that if you allowed for this, then what next? China did ultimately build Caribbean ports, just not in Jamaica. I think the big thing is trade. China analyst Scott McDonald is writing a book all about it. He's even got the title, The New Cold War in the Caribbean. Is the U.S. and China definitely have marked out a new competitiveness, a rivalry, if you want, that does look like a cold war in some aspects? Because this is right in their backyard. This is the American backyard. This allows China to make a poke at the United States in its soft underbelly, if you want. The U.S. has warned Caribbean countries about taking on too much debt from China. Does debt mean that you are much more than just indebted on an economic level, that you are in part owned by China? I wouldn't go to say that you're owned, but perhaps China has a leverage. China has enough sway that Jamaica's prime minister just visited Beijing, but soon after announced a pause in any new borrowing, shifting more towards public and private investment. Jamaicans are now among more than 4 billion people globally touched by China's involvement beyond its own borders. China is playing the long game, and it's getting closer and closer to our own shores. Okay, guys, what did you guys think? Now, for me, it's sad that the entrepreneurs and the architects and the engineers in Jamaica cannot get those big positions that China is bringing. Now, hmm, if China is donating, why is it that 50% of the staff have to be theirs? And why is it that they hold the highest positions and the man labor is just for the Jamaicans? Hmm, I'm just saying. Anyways, um, like I always say, a help doesn't necessarily mean a help up. It can always sometimes mean a help down. But if you, the, uh, I think he was one of the governors or something, I'm not sure Jamaica used governors, but he was saying that the interest rate was not as bad as what the West offer. But we don't know if he's just saying that because a lot of the politicians, they keep money in their pockets. Anyways, let me know what y'all think. Hmm. Let me know what y'all think. Anyways, thank you guys for coming back. Thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for following me. We're going to continue to cover things throughout Jamaica, America, and wherever I see things that's interesting. Anyways, y'all, thank y'all. Be safe out there and know that Tony loves you.